Hey guys, it's been a while since I did more fan videos. I said I was going to, it ran out of time. And long story short, I'll spare you any troubles. But finally had some free time to test some new fans and starting off with this beast. This is a Westinghouse Industrial, 56 inches of course. And in what is my favorite finish, I think it's polished nickel and black. Has a very retro 80s diner feel to it. That's what I was hoping for. This was a fan I got brand new. It was new old stock. It's dated 2011, which I assume was 20th week of 2011, or maybe November of 2020. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Let's get this bad boy started, shall we? Let's see here. Yeah, it's bright enough outside. As you can probably see, I haven't changed too much on my display. I only just started with the fans now, in fact. I have replaced the orange line, though, with this because I, did want, I didn't want to leave the orange line hanging for too long. I had some other fans to test, and I wanted to keep that one kind of preserved. So that one's tucked away nice and, nice and neat. <laughs> I have to say, this industrial, all right, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed with it. It's not like the older Westinghouses, and honestly, I've never been able to get a straight answer on this. They seem to have two different kinds of fans in that they have what is just simply the Westinghouse Industrial and then the Westinghouse Jacks. And as far as I've seen, there is little to no difference between the two. I assumed it's just because the Jax was like a more residential friendly one with a slower capacitor, so it was kind of detuned. But this really isn't any faster or more powerful, so not like the older Westinghouse Industrials. Give it a quarter turn or a fifth turn. Yeah, the ones in my church's gymnasium are way better than this one. Those are actually fast. I can start feeling some air moving now. That's pretty good. I will point out the blades do have rolled edges. But yeah, it's uh, not very impressive. So let's do another fifth turn. It is also incredibly slow in terms of acceleration from zero to high. It's pretty bad. It's extremely heavy for what it is too. Those are some thick blades and not a lot of motor pushing those blades. I bet you could upgrade the capacitor and it could definitely be a little faster. It's kind of funny, it still uses the same mount that you would find on a residential fan. It doesn't use the uh, ball and, uh, uh, what's it called? Hook and eye or something like that, I don't know. You can actually see the eye hook there from left over from the orange line. That's actually a medium on the control. Another fifth of a turn. Definitely noisy. I can definitely feel some air moving from it though. And let's go to high. Quiets up when you turn it to high. <laughs> but yeah, sadly, that's pretty much high speed. I mean, I'm getting some good air movement. For residential purposes, that's more than enough for your average person. For commercial or industrial, that's genuinely pathetic. <laughs> But who knows, maybe I was shipped, maybe it's the wrong kind of fan. Maybe there's a good reason why it was new old stock. 
Maybe it was uh, Jax that they accidentally messed up and labeled as an industrial. Who knows? It's a shame, too, because I really love the finish. I love the black and silver. Like I said, it just has some cool retro vibes. So let's do spin down. Like I said, the air movement is pretty pathetic. In the videos I've made of these, I've talked in detail about how these are childhood for me. This particular one, not so much because of the finish. But I've always seen these Westinghouse industrials in a lot of places I've been to. Other than my church, the uh, local Walmart to me. They have six of them in their produce area. Three running reverse, three running downdraft. Pretty interesting. They're always on no matter what. I've only seen them change the speeds. In the wintertime, they slow them down. In the summer, they run them on high. Really hard to get video, though, in that area. It's always very popular, and people aren't too... Uh, people aren't too... Uh, what's the word? Fond of uh, me filming in there, we'll say. <laughs> I haven't done anything, but uh, that's just the mentality of that Walmart, I suppose. Yeah, this, um, I'm going to have this one up for a little while just to help break it in because it is brand new. Hopefully I can get a better spin down out of it and just use it during the summer, but it's not going to be a long, it's not going to be up for a long time. And who knows if I feel like I may just replace it sooner than, sooner than like two months, I guess. As you can see, I definitely replaced, I also replaced the uh, silver line with the little Dayton. I missed having it, and it's a perfect fan for the summertime. I've already filmed that, though. Ironically, that little Dayton, or in this case, Marley, puts this Westinghouse to shame. The breeze from this little guy is twice as strong and spreads out almost as well as this does. So if you want a cheap industrial, get one of these. <laughs> pretty cool though this one is reversible you can see on the side there you can see on the, the reverse switch it works well yeah i bought it mostly because of the finish i really love the finish and i was hoping to get a real industrial like the old ones a real powerful westinghouse but uh that was not the case with this fan so let's do zero to high I've been doing some cleaning and organizing my garage, my collections of things. Probably going to get rid of some fans here soon. Nothing worth noting, at least, but... Yeah, I'll be selling those soon. I'll probably, I may make an announcement on my channel. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. I just got to make sure uh, the fans are 100% before I sell them. I want people to get something good out of it. I think that's about high speed, right about now-ish takes a good 30 something seconds before it really gets up to high speed yeah it's pretty bad but alas i guess that's how most modern products are these days aren't they but there you have it the westinghouse industrial thank you guys for watching and have a great day